for me, try and heal for me, that's if you still love me, father, time's still getting harder here, I'm just trying to give a part without the barber chair, no fade neither, on the beat I mean, want it to sound like you looking at a TV screen, taught me how to be a man and everything, even snuck off like you and bought a wedding ring, Kim, well I'm sorry for the hating sis, and we ain't really been cool. Since 96, and I'd have said I'm from Virginia Beach. Um, humble beginnings, you know, and uh, I live in Tennessee right now. And as far as where I'm going is, I guess, just creating, creating music I love and that I think uh, other people would enjoy, you know. Um, not trying to sell anybody on anything, but just making just making good news i guess laboratory make a new bomb see everybody want to walk with me how you going to walk when you can't put my shoes on most people i'm working with right now is uh, affiliates with creative control it's like a umbrella company they have creative control which is the media label so i'm affiliated with the media label but then they have blue rock which is like the music label and they have four or five other companies that's underneath and it's all being creative you, you see it from start to finish everybody has creative control of what they want to do you know we got a very very large back end and we're, we're appreciative of everything we get you know Kudi and Chike they're the CEOs of creative control along with Dame Dash and uh, we went up there not too long ago and they showed us a lot of love you know Kudi Chike gave us a co-sign they shooting videos for us I mean videos that I mean nice videos you know what I'm saying so it, it's all love they got a lot of talent on there uh, currency and and uh, you know Badu is affiliated with them your video note to Pharrell this is one of your writers right talk about the inspiration behind that uh, I, I did that track because we got word that Pharrell had heard great skies Ivan talked to the security guard, handed him the mixtape. He brought it to a listening party for the clips. But Pharrell walks in. Who knew? He heard it. And he wanted to get in touch with us. Security guard talked to Ivan. Ivan talked to me. But we never had a direct line to Pharrell. So when it got severed, when it was like, well, we don't know if you can meet up with him anymore, I made note to Pharrell to kind of stay relevant. Pharrell. You heard great skies. Wanna get some more? Uh, God feel it. I just wanna be a writer. But you know what? Uh, yeah. You wanna hear something funny though? I done walk down sunny roads. Contemplating how this money fold. Thinking to myself, somebody got a sign. That's now I'm in a runny nose. out of middle school, I really got hooked on uh, T.S. Eliot and, and a lot of these other poets. Yeah, yeah, these, these poets, I, I got hooked up and it's like, it was like a bug that bit me. Like, everything I wanted to do revolved around poetry, revolved around writing. I started writing short stories and it was, it, it was fascinating. People was out playing football, I was out writing poetry. I was out writing short stories, making up a story, writing it meet a guy on the bus, write a story about him, and then I come up with an ending. Radiohead probably is number one. That's like my favorite band. Radiohead. Uh, I like Getz and Gilberto. I like uh, Foo Fighters. I like Jay-Z. Um, but definitely rock and jazz have the biggest influence. I don't know why, I, I don't know why, but Nat King Cole, even the classics, Marvin Gaye, all of that kind of music has a, has a big impact. Let's go, good morning my sunshine, I look in my girl's eyes, I'm seeing the sunrise, no size. Till I'm seeing the TV wonder, Stevie used to dream in 3D. 
I used to listen to a lot of jazz and stuff, and it's like I would I would hear the instruments like having a conversation, like they were talking, like I don't know how to explain it, but like the sax, it'd be like a conversation. The piano would come in, and, and I could actually hear words, like they like they were talking through the sounds, and I'm trying to. As I grew older, it's sad to say, but it's like I lost some of that as I got older. You know, you start getting a job and just working and, you know, I, I guess it's the system or society, I don't know, but you lose your imagination, you lose that, that thing that a child has. You know. When I think of gray, I think of Logical, realistic, mature, neutral, old, wise. Right, and then the kid part is like creative, creative uh, imagination. It, we're not, we're not saying like, uh, you know, be naive or be, you know. Yeah, it, the imagination still has logic behind it, although you can't prove it. The logic. It's still there, like going to the moon back in 1750 would have been completely insane. But a great kid, what he does is says, I don't think it's insane. I, and he takes a logical approach of, I think we can do it. I think this is possible, this and this, this and that. A couple hundred years later, we, you know what I'm saying, they do it. So it's like, same with music, same with, with life, with everything. I think people, if you have too much imagination, they think you're like immature. You are a great kid because you're expressing, you know, this way. That's what I want to bring back is people that have that mindset and they express it through their art, no matter what kind of art it is. I think if you focus on the craft, everything else will happen, you know. Yeah, it'll, it'll fall into place. If I focus on the music, it'll, it'll happen. You know, construction worker, if he focused on building the building, people, the hospital will help the people, the patients. He just needs to build it. I feel like if I create the music, yeah, create the music, then it'll be there for people that may need it. That heart may need to be healed, or maybe somebody's soul is hurting. Maybe somebody just needs to listen to this particular song to help them figure out what they're gonna do down the road. You know. The art, you said I needed a rhythm to complement my talk, cause I speak in prisms. So you introduced me to Wall. You said I'd fill him. I said Cheerio. Wall in fruity loops, and now I mean the cereal. I'm talking about the sound that's coming through the stereo. Here we go. Can't sing, so don't hold that singing part against me. Uh.